welcome back to our channel so tonight is Trevor and my first shift on our own luckily we're both working so it's nice we'll have a familiar face but whoo, the anxieties there I'll tell you what uh, I did make some like cheat sheets of important phone numbers and that kind of thing to have on my badge I did that all yesterday so hopefully that helps me feel more comfortable we didn't get a chance to practice any more than like the eight hour orientation we had before that you'll, if you had seen my previous video, you would have known how orientation went. But it was eight hours of on the floor with a preceptor, that was it. And now we're on our own tonight. So their shifts are 19.30 to 0800. So 7.30 at night to 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. And yeah, I'm, whoo, the nerves are there, but that's okay. I'm sure all travel nurses feel that way when they first start. This is just our first one ever. So we, you know, the, the nerves are even stronger. I'm sure as time goes on and we do more assignments, it'll get easier, I hope. That's what people told me when I asked them. But yeah, night shift is a whole different atmosphere than days. And uh, my previous hospital, I did a year and night. So I know the vibe, I know the gist. Most staff aren't there, pharmacy's probably not there, blah, 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 all these other things. But you know, I'm nervous about being on my own for the first time, but I'm also nervous about how tired I'm gonna be. But it'll be fine. I have an energy drink in my bag, I have snacks, I have my coffee, and it'll be okay. All right guys, so I'll try and check in if I can. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, let you know how the night went, and yeah. First night off. Good morning guys, or uh, good night, good morning, one of those. We just got home. That was a rough one, not gonna lie. I mean, I guess it wasn't as bad as it could have been, you know, all things considered, but the first good eight hours were just probably us pure panicking, trying to figure out the charting system, trying to figure out just everything. Um, charge was so helpful though. Coworkers were so helpful. I asked and they said they're used to travelers so they're very supportive and they're very willing to answer questions but that was that was pretty stressful. You know, like patient care is fine like I said before but just charting it, like they use one charting system in the ED and then once they're admitted you have to switch over to a completely new and different charting system, like different brand charting system which just gets so old so fast and learning where things are in the ED and you know if it's stocked or not it's a thing. We both had ICU patients, we both had really sick people, so you know, you were working on the fly, trying to figure things out as you went, realizing this is a real person, I can't be messing up here, I can't be going slow, but I mean it's okay. The last, like around 5 a.m. I'd say, it slowed down and we were able to like catch up on our charts. We finally settled into how to write nursing notes in the best way, like where to click, where to do things. And I feel like we both gave really good reports this morning, like very called up reports. But uh, I do think though, looking back in the course of 12 hours, we learned so much about charting. Like tonight, we go back in tonight and then we're off tomorrow. But tonight I feel like, you know, fingers crossed, I don't want to jinx myself, but I feel like it'll feel at least marginally easier. You know, like the transition between it, uh, ED versus admission charting, all that stuff, where to find paper charting. And I mean, we both had traumas, like trauma alerts called. Well, they, they call it something else, but the, the whole trauma flow she is filled out. We both had that happen, but charge was so present, excuse me, and so willing to help. Let's see, it is 8.41 now. And we gotta get, we're both showering, getting back to bed. We both have to figure out, like, these are my sh our shoes and our scrubs. We need to figure out a better way because we don't want to bring it into the camper. So I think we're just gonna have like a big storage bin out here that they live in until we wash them. But yeah, you know, try and get some sleep. It's gonna be weird. I haven't slept in the middle of the day in a long time. It's been like two years since I worked night shift. So this is a little odd. I wished that a video like this existed when we first started. Just someone going through it, telling me what it was like. I think that would have been really awesome. So anyway guys, I gotta go get some sleep. I absolutely love it if you guys subscribe to my channel and followed us along. 
comment below any questions comments concerns advice you know if you're a travel nurse yourself and you have a positive thing to say on how we can get through this i would love to hear it guys but all right two three fuck it guys it's actually 6 30 p.m but i feel like it's okay to say good morning right this is actually me checking in two weeks in letting you guys know how it's going so <sighs> we woke up around three o'clock this afternoon we go into work tonight and i thought i would let you guys know how we're doing so i guess i could slightly say we've settled into things you know obviously We've gotten used to where most equipment is, you know, other than like the really rare, obscure stuff. We've gotten used to IVs, we've gotten used to the pumps, that kind of thing. Know a lot of coworkers, know their names, which is nice, that definitely helps. Uh, we've been through some, some pretty sick people, so we've been put through the ringer. I took a patient to the OR, Trevor had to get someone flown to another hospital. We've had multiple codes, we've tubed or intubated multiple patients, so we've really, you know, We've done all the critical care things, which are like the big and scaries for us. Like, I mean in the sense of when you're new, it's scary. Because at our old hospital, it, it wasn't scary anymore. You know, we settled in, we knew our coworkers well, we knew the equipment well. But now we're kind of getting over those initial butterflies that happen when you're new to a hospital. Like, I'm super thankful. I don't know if I mentioned in my previous video, but this hospital gave Trevor and I the exact same schedule. Amazing. I couldn't have asked for anything better. We're at a campground for Pete's sake. We wanna like do things outside, ride bikes, do all that stuff, you know? Our neighbors are on vacation, so we kinda of have that FOMO feeling of feeling like we're missing out on, on all the fun things to do outside when you have a camper. But that's okay, I mean, light at the end of the tunnel, I think we're gonna try and have a little bit of time off, like maybe two weeks in between contracts. Let me just cut myself off right there. This is Vicky from the future coming to you hot from a Starbucks parking lot where I'm editing this video. That whole two weeks off between assignments thing couldn't be farther from the truth. Oh my word. So a couple weeks goes by from where you are in the timeline of my life right now. And Trevor and I decided to not continue on with this assignment. If you'd like to know why, hit that notification bell, get notified whenever we upload a video. Trevor and I are gonna be doing a sit down explanation video as to why we decided to leave. And yeah, continue with this video. Then yeah, we'll see what the night brings. Ah, the butterflies are there, the nervousness is there. That's okay, whatever comes, I have great coworkers. I really like them, they're so nice and they're very welcoming to us. And I have Trevor there, which is always just a blessing. So we'll see what the night brings, guys. Okay, ah! You ready for this? I guess so. <laughs> the faces of two people just so excited for whatever the night holds. So I guess this corner is the spot we come to when we vent about our day now, huh? <laughs> if you watched my last video, you'll know. I think I was even wearing the same sweatshirt, but uh, Trevor and I just got home from that shift and I wish I could report back a much easier, much smoother going two weeks in, you know, celebratory shift, but that's definitely not how the night went. Uh, I've already showered, as you can tell, you pardon my very raw naked face. Yeah, last night was a rough one. It started rough. The middle was rough and it ended rough. So, night. Like, I don't mean to just sit here and complain. I know this is what travel nursing is. You're coming to hospitals who have a need. You know, they have a need for staffing. They have a need because they have a lot of sick patients and they need nurses to take care of them. I understand. And I don't mean to come here just to complain. 
but I'm just kind of being honest with you guys. You know, I started yesterday with so much hope. Yo, so much hope that we would have a great night last night, but sometimes that just doesn't work out. But what I did make was I cut up a blackout curtain and I put Velcro on both sides of the curtain and up on the walls. And so, well, that works really well. <laughs> so the blackout curtain, it just goes and it Velcros up there. And then we have one for our little uh, skylight in our ceiling. And then luckily the window over here came with a, a window dressing that's light proof. again fingers majorly crossed you guys oh you know that feeling when you get home from work and you can take your mask off oh my gosh so last night was actually lovely you know isn't that so nice you have a terrible night and then you have a great night to balance it out that's it really helped it really helped my morale yeah, I actually got to work all night next to him. We ran a whole core, just us. We each had two rooms, which is unheard of to just have two rooms per nurse. Like, what is that? No hall beds, no nothing. Unheard of. So I doubt we'll ever see that again. But I figured I would end this video here. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button below if you want to follow along on Trevor and my journey as travel nurses. Thumbs up if you liked this video. Leave a comment down below if you have ideas on videos we can make in the future or comments, concerns. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.